Abraham Pig here, and today I'm going to try to pick and gut this MNC color lock for you. This is what the key looks like. It's got six dimple pins and three sliders. Uh, the middle two dimple pins are the shortest length, so the key has no cuts on it. The key works great. I'm going to be using a fat z-bar for tension and this multi-pick number five Oops, something's not right with my tension let's try that again Okay, I'm pretty sure I've overset something, so let's start over. There we go, we got a deep fall set. That means we just have the sliders now. I'm gonna use this standard hook in 15 thousandths to try to push them to the right. There we go, and we have an open. All right, let's try to get this now. Okay, first we need to take out the sidebar, as you can see it's intact, I'll give you a close up of that later, let's take the tiny springs that push it outwards out as well, so that we don't lose those, okay, and now the key is going to hold the sliders in place and we can dump the bottom pins. And now the sliders. I'll give 
give you a close-up of these guys later. There's a spring for each of the sliders, uh, but they're a pain to remove and put back in, so I'm going to leave them uh, in the plug. And there's not really anything special about the plug aside from the uh, there's a little shelf milled into each hole and a little shelf on each uh, bottom pin so that they don't go too deep into the keyway uh, slot for the sidebar. That's really it. There's some drill protection in the front. All right, let's get the top pins out now. Number one is a double spool. Two is a standard. Three is a standard. Let's take the others out of the back. Number six is a standard. Number five is a kind of a funky looking pin. Uh, well, I'll show to you close up later. It's kind of like a master lock bump stop pin almost. And number four is another standard. So let's dump the springs out of here. And there's a bit of drill protection in front of the pin stack that usually falls out as well. Drill protection. All right. That's all that's in the Bible. There's just the groove for the sidebar, the six uh, holes for the upper pins. This front hole is for this piece of drill protection and the one in the back is threaded and that's what attaches the lock to the spine when it's fully assembled. Right, let's get a close-up of everything. Alright, there's the key. You can see the sliders have just one true gate and the little nubbin on the opposite side for the key. Uh, double spool, standard, standard, standard. This thing that kind of looks like a master lock bump stop pin with the kind of flared spooly end and another standard and the bottom pins are all standard. Here's our sidebar and sidebar springs. Alright, that's all. Thank you for watching.